Hey guys, how you doing? So somebody asked me, just wondering what you thought of inflation and possible recession. How worried are you about it? How does this affect you, if I may ask? So, good questions. So I believe that uh, a recession is probably coming. We are definitely in big inflation. There's a, there is a debate about what is the cause, what the mixture of the cause is. It's definitely money printing, but it's also supply chain. Anyhow, so how does this impact developers? How does this impact me? So developers in general, if you are in a solid business that doesn't operate on the razor's edge, meaning it has a solid diversified business model or a recession-proof business model, and and an and an inflation proof business model you should be okay so let me give you a couple examples netflix that's kind of a weaker business model in my opinion because they don't have anything exclusive there's always streaming services and at the end of the day it's the content that makes the difference the content is king so unless you're into stranger things and their documentaries and i like their documentaries on netflix but you know it's weak it's, you can easily move from Netflix to a company A to company B and C. That's why uh, their stock has dropped quite a bit. So that could affect you if you were, for example, working on Netflix. Another thing, another example is Apple on the other end of the spectrum. Now, Apple is not weak like Netflix because if you're into Apple products, whether you love them or hate them, people who like Apple tend to just stick with Apple because it's not easy to replace. To move from that ecosystem to the other is not so easy. If you like Mac OS, if you like iOS, you like watch OS, you're not going to drop it typically to go to Android or to Windows. It's just the way it is. Same thing with Windows people. People on Windows machines, they don't tend to jump to Mac or Linux. It's very rare. It happens, but it's not, you know, the vast majority don't. And Microsoft has all these productivities, business tools, coding developer tools. They're safe businesses, so they'll take a hit in terms of their stock prices and their revenues uh, during this time frame, probably, but they'll come out just fine. So Netflix, we can because they're not diversified. Uh, they, there's no moat in the sense of the product and, and service that they offer. A lot of other people offer them, and it's just easy to switch from another. You know, there's no, there's nothing crucial. I would argue on Netflix that makes you want to stay there, right? because you can get nice streaming on Amazon Prime and Apple TV, et cetera. So how does this impact developers? Again, if you're working on a big company like Netflix, eh, working on Apple, it's the opposite. Now, Apple is actually raising salaries to keep their talent. So it depends where you're working. If uh, you're a good developer, a coder, if you have uh, good skill sets, or the demand is there, you do good work, you keep upping your game, you'll be fine. You'll be fine. This is where FU money comes in handy, by the way. When you have a lot of FU money, uh, you know, whatever. You can ride these things out, you know, but if you're always waiting for that next paycheck, when there's a little dip in the economy that, or inflation, you can put yourself in a bad situation. That's why for years and years now I've been telling people, live below your means and get lots of FU money. Huge, because... This situation, people, the guy asked me, how does it affect me? It doesn't affect me really, affect me really at all, like zero. Because, first of all, I have divergent, divergent. I have diversified income streams and diversified investments. I got stocks, bonds, real estate. I got other investments. Um, and my income streams, I've diversified as well. Real estate, uh, you know, content, uh, I do biz. I do work with a lot of schools. So don't worry about me, I'm fine. So for you, in this situation, depends where you are um, in terms of your career. If you're actively working right now, you know, pay attention to what the company is doing, but if you have, you know, your company, uh, chances are you'll be fine, especially if you're top talent. If you're top tier, you're fine. They don't want to let go of top tier people. They'll hold on to you. If you're a troublesome individual, low skill, you might be the first to go. So, you know, keep that in mind. If you're freelancing, again, if you follow my freelancing principles, highly diversified, many clients, again, situation, some clients will drop off, some will be fine. So, you know, the reason 
why the reason you keep expanding your skill sets not through tutorials again my philosophy of education in terms of anything is you you get your fundamentals down so you develop the nerd eyes so you can assess everything around you in that world and then what you do uh, you you know you poke around understanding you know the different frameworks that are out there the different APIs so you get in different tool sets so you understand generally what's going on out there you don't learn them all because you you'll spend forever learning you never make money you learn your fundamentals you understand the lay of the land in terms of the technology choices so you know when ah it makes sense to use WordPress here now it makes sense to build something from scratch here etc so you know this and then when a job comes up where you have to build XYZ you'll know okay for this project it's better to use this or for this project I should do it from scratch or for this project I'll use this product over here it all depends all circumstantial there's no such thing as a killer uh, product that will make you future proof will make you future proof recession proof inflation proof is just keep developing your skills coding skills fundamental skills your interpersonal skills they call those soft skills, um, money management skills. Again, as I've said, and I teach in my money course, once you have a few money, that's savings for uh, anywhere from three months to a year, depending on your circumstances. I used to say a year, two years, but maybe aggressive. If you're freelancing, I'd say at least a year of, of a few money. If you're not freelancing, you have a solid job, maybe six months, you know, well, say six months to a year. But anyway, I changed my mind on it. It depends on your circumstances. You have good FU money. You have diversified investments. Uh, you, you live well below your means, as I suggest. You'll be fine. It won't be a problem. So yeah, recession is probably coming. I don't know how long, how deep it's going to be. I don't know how long this uh, inflationary environment is going to be. We'll see. But, uh, you know, inflation, a lot of it is pegged in oil and energy. So uh, we might, if, if they don't, and I know it's, it's touching on the political because oil is the cheap energy now. And uh, the future, of course, is solar. The future is probably going to be nuclear. That's what Bill Gates and other people say. Uh, I'm not an expert in the field. But, you know, renewables, obviously, you know, ideally, that's where you want to be. The question is, is how feasible it is today, given our technology and so forth. And then all those batteries, you got to mine lithium for that, right? I don't know. So, you know, problem is, is you know, because we have a pinch in oil, oil shoots up in price, and everything that we do is related to oil. Not just gas, your food cost, your energy, everything is related to that. So if they don't want to increase the supply of oil, uh, then you gotta expect longer term inflation. Now, I don't know how long, but, uh, and again, the ideal, of course, would be sun. I would love it if you have super high, highly conductive solar panels put on the side of my, my building here. Fantastic. Don't have to pay energy anymore. That would be great. But I just don't think it's feasible uh, in an industrial way for a while. It's going to take a lot. To, it's going to take some time. I don't know how long. 10 years? 20 years? 5 years? I don't know. But anyway, so be diversified in your skills. Uh, have a few money. Have diversified savings. You'll be fine. Bye-bye.